Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. If you've played Osu for any length of time, you should definitely know who Zilver is. Zilver is an OG player who's been active on Osu since 2013. He was originally known for his hard rock ability and very high accuracy, but as the years went by, he further expanded his skill set and nowadays he's known to be an authentic all-rounder, capable of playing absolutely everything the game has to offer. If you looked at any map's leaderboard at least once, you definitely saw his name, and if you don't know him, you either haven't been paying attention, or you have been following my local ranking advice, so you know what, I'll forgive you. Ok, very cool Spaza, but why are we talking about Silver all of a sudden? Well, not many people know this, but Silver actually has a YouTube channel, and other than simply uploading replays or stream highlights, He's also made some very interesting commentary videos regarding the subject of Osu improvement, talking about his own experience as a top player, providing very useful tips in the process. Today's video was actually inspired by one of his videos, and since I think it's important to support fellow top players making content, I suggest you go subscribe to Zilver's YouTube channel right now, which I will leave down there in the description. As an Osu coach, it's my duty to find out players' weaknesses in order to work towards fixing them, but after identifying what to practice on, I always tell my students to never hyper-focus on just the weaknesses, since that could cause way more problems than it may solve. Let's say that hypothetically, just hypothetically, you're a six digit watching this video right now, you love PP jumps, you already farmed every diff on Harumachi Clover, and you love VTubers. You wanna get good at streaming, so you start playing maps that are very demanding for you in terms of stamina and finger control, you push yourself, push yourself, push yourself, but the more you do it, the less you actually improve. This goes against all logic at first, after all the play more mantra is being fully respected here, so where's the issue? To answer that question, I'm gonna use myself as an example. Back in 2019, I spent the majority of my time playing double time, more specifically speed maps. I really wanted to become fast, and of course, compared to where I was at previously, I had definitely improved. But since I was playing speed on a daily basis, and nothing else, I was at the point where I genuinely had more trouble streaming 180 BPM than I had bursting 300, which was a huge red flag. My reading was also completely gone, and anything below AR 10.3 just seemed too slow for me. My sessions were incredibly inconsistent, one day I would be able to play high BPM with relative ease, and for the next week I would just finger lock every burst, miss all over the place, and right there I should have known. I should have realized all I needed to do was play something else, but no, I kept pushing, hoping to eventually break through the wall, and I never did. This, of course, impacted my mindset negatively cause I sucked at the game and I got so pissed I had to take a massive break and that's all because of the one thing I was missing the entire time. Balance. You see, if you spend too much time practicing just the one thing you're bad at, you're doing mainly two things. First of all, you're essentially neglecting every other skill set you're already good at, so even if you may improve slightly in one aspect, you're getting worse overall. Secondly, since your gameplay will start lacking, you'll likely be a lot more negative about your overall performance, cause let's face it, no one wants to log into Osu and suck at it for 2 hours. So what's the solution? Well, you need to find the right balance in your sessions and keep all your skills in check. How? In my opinion, the best way to do this is play as many different maps as you can. Think about it, how come tournament players are so good at everything? It's because they constantly play a wide range of maps that truly test every skill that's in the game. Now, I'm not saying you must sign up for tournaments and completely destroy any prospect of going out on weekends, but you can simply apply the same principle to your own sessions. Play all types of maps, and if you don't know how to categorize them, all tournament map pools in any rank range are publicly available anyway, so just download those map pools, make collections, 
and instead of hyper-focusing on just your weaknesses, try to play as many things as you can. This way, instead of developing big imbalances where a certain skill is gonna be miles ahead of everything else, you'll be able to organically grow your skill set, feel good about your gameplay, and feel more motivated than ever to continue pushing the envelope. Ever since I started doing this, I found it a lot easier to improve at everything, including the stuff I was previously hyper-focusing on. It also became way less boring to play the game, since I'm always playing new maps and new mods that test my overall skill set. And hey, if you need a more convincing argument, just think of this. A certain guy came back to the game recently, you might have heard of him, uh, a certain Shigetora, and look, he's derusting pretty quickly, and if you pay attention, during one session you'll see him play low BPM, reading, jumps, streams, speed, and whatever this is. What the hell? Obviously, everything in this game is completely subjective, there's no universal truth, and every player is gonna have a different experience. I think that, if you have a specific weakness you'd like to practice, you can, of course, dedicate one or two sessions to just doing that, but in the long run, it's always better to find the right balance and play everything the game has to offer. Also, if you wanna start practicing something you've been neglecting for a long time, instead of hyper-focusing on it, hoping to catch up sooner, it's a lot better to slowly introduce the skill set in your everyday session in a way that makes it enjoyable for you. I'm really curious to know if anyone else had a similar experience with hyper-focusing versus playing everything, so make sure to let me know in the comment section. Once again, big thanks to Silver for inspiring me to make this video, and if you did enjoy watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. By the way, I just reopened my coaching services again, so if you'd like me to be your own personal OSU coach, you can go to my Notion page, which I will leave down there in the description. That being said, play everything, enjoy game, and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.